The setup starts with a choice of smart defaults to get you started quickly. You can pick from six pre-configured content types to add to your site. These can also be added later if you change your mind. Then you can create your admin account. As soon as the setup process is complete, you're taken to a dashboard with an overview of your content, but also some of the top tasks to build your website. By clicking on the recommended add-ons link, you can find built-in features, also known as recipes, that you can apply to your site. You'll see the content types from the setup process, but also features like SEO tools, an AI assistant, forms, and Google Analytics. When I click to install Google Analytics, I'm prompted to add my Google Tag ID. Then all the configuration for analytics is applied to my website. One of the first things you'll notice about Drupal CMS is that it's designed for content editors. In the navigation, you have quick access to a create menu, as well as the media library and a trash link to retrieve deleted content. When you go to create basic page, you'll have access to save and preview links, which are sticky at the top of the page. When you add media, you can reuse or upload images, documents, videos, or SVGs, and embed them using pre-configured sizes, which are all mobile ready. Images can also have an alt text for accessibility compliance. Scheduling options are available for publishing content. A friendly URL is already generated, but you can always customize the URL. You can also customize meta tags and see a preview of what your content will look like in search results. Drupal CMS can also help you customize your website. The AI Assistant is contextual, so you can ask it to help you with things on the page you're looking at. For example, ask it, can you help me create a book review content type? It will give you instructions or do it for you. Then it'll tell you exactly what configuration it's added to your website. For example, here it's added a book review content type. I can go and review the fields that it's added and make sure that I understand how the new content type works.